way to get out in the late 1800s and early 20th century, steamboats were a key in waterway travel. All right, for some that's still the case. Today and tomorrow you can see boats up close with the 25th annual North American Steamboat Association. And joining us now live is Charlie Roth, who started the association. They're out at Lake Nakamixon this weekend. Charlie, thanks so much for joining us. And you got a whistle blowing behind you. You're welcome. Oh, it's so great to hear. Tell us That's what you love about steamboats. <laughs> What I love about steam, I love all of it. It's the building of them, sailing them, taking people for rides, teaching them about it. I'm on my fifth steamboat now. And we put up with the noise and everything. <laughs> what are we hearing? We're hearing uh, some horns. We're hearing, uh, I see a little smoke coming out of uh, the side Whistles, one, too, not, the one that just went behind you. What? Those are whistles, not horns. Horns are on a car, whistles are on a steamboat. <laughs> so, uh, Charlie, I mean, you know, these are not the big, gigantic uh, steamboats that I kind of imagine on the Mississippi River with uh, Huck Finn and so forth, but these are smaller boats that people build, and obviously you can take them on various lakes and rivers like this. Yeah, it's, yeah they're, they're strictly pleasure boats. They're not, they're not built for long hauls, you know, 1,000-mile cruises, things like that. We don't have enough fuel. There's not enough good water. We just get together now and then, all different parts of the country, and have a good time. How does it work? You know, I know it's steam, but how do you get the steam to power the boat? There's a, a boiler just like you would have in a house. You put some, most of them are fired with wood. You just build a fire in the boiler. You get up steam pressure, get on, then you feed it to the engine, and away you go. It's as easy as that. And then you use the water from the lake as the steam. If you have good water, and this lake is good water. You don't want uh, salt water. You don't want really contaminated water. But we have very good water here really beautiful boats, Charlie. Uh, so you started this association. Did you just find a need to get steamboat enthusiasts together? I started this when the original magazine that was around was going to stop publishing and go strictly online. And I'm not an online person. So I said, we've got to have something to take with you and that's how I started it 20 years ago and it's been going along good ever since. So Charlie what can people expect when they come today and tomorrow? I know aside from uh, steamboats you also have some Model A cars, other vintage vehicles. Will people be allowed to get on the boat and go for a ride? If they're, you got to be here at the right time because the boats are coming in and out all the time. We don't have we don't have a schedule for anything. We just uh, do it as it comes along, and you may be lucky and get a ride. And Charlie, you just got to ask the right people at the right time, mm -hmm. and you might get a ride. It's who you know. <laughs> well, now they know you, Charlie. But I did hear that the best time to see a lot of boats will be midday today, so around noon. Yeah, we we stop once in a while to eat. <laughs> so we'll be here at noon time or early in the morning. We're all here early in the morning. Until when? When does it uh, when does it end today? It doesn't end until about uh, four o'clock or so. Do you have all day? And then we start all over again tomorrow morning around nine. We'll be here all day. Yeah. And that's at the Lake Nakamixon, the Haycock boat launch along Upper Mountain Road. Landing. Landing, Correct. thank you. Uh, today and tomorrow, 9 to 4. Very cool. Charlie Roth, thank you so much, sir. Great pictures, Charlie. Thanks You're welcome very much. All right, very cool. Well, Looks neat. Sounds great out there. Yeah, what a neat event. You yeah. know, that's something that you don't always get to experience. Plus, with the colors, that sounds like a good day. You have sure. to get there at the right time, though. Yeah. And ask Charlie for a ride. <laughs> I wonder if this would work. <laughs> Just hitch one. Yeah. We'll be right back.